Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lemish Shenanigans in 1977, and this is the WrestleMania 40 Saturday Night Event Center. And now, here's your host of Eric Lemish Shenanigans in 1977, the man himself, Eric M. Lima. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, um, thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lemish Shenanigans of 1977. Whoops. And uh, this is episode 1327, April the 6th, 2024, 11.44 p.m. Before I get into the WrestleMania results of WrestleMania 40 this um, tonight, it just got over. I'm waiting for Collision to be on. Well, here's the deal. Um, I did I did find out the NXT level up did happen, but it was later on that night. I'll give you the results of that. Dante Chen uh, defeated Drake Moreau. Tatum Paxley um, defeated Brinley Reese. And OTM out the mud at Scripps, Bronco Nemo, Lucian Price defeated the team of Javon Evans, Tyreek Igwe, and Tyson DuPont. And another thing, I forgot to do this, and every time a new subscriber, I get a sometimes I get a notification, and not get a notification, I get, get subscribers. And a new subscriber did subscribe by the name of Robert Smith. So Robert Smith, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, any questions you have for me? Please uh, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. Just be respectful, please. I really do appreciate that. And also, we have resulted a new Ring of Honor World Champion. Mark Briscoe defeated Eddie Kingston at the Super Card of Honor to win the title. So, uh, that, so congratulations to Mark Briscoe. I'll be honest with you. I'm very, very proud of Mark Briscoe. In fact, um, he deserves that title after, uh, you know, after everything he's gone through, especially the death of his brother, Jay. But, you know, Mark Briscoe does, does deserve it. And I'm sure in the back of Eddie Kingston's mind, he does, too. Um, let's talk about what happened at WrestleMania 40 on Saturday. Uh, uh, just, uh, just not too long ago, it happened. Uh, Coco Jones, who's probably a, record, a huge recording artist, uh, sings the national anthem. Tri Triple H welcomes the uh, WWE Universe to a new era. And the women's world title kicks it off. Ray Ripley, who's been uh, and her new look and her band once again, most of us in white, uh, performed her theme song as she heads to the ring. And Ray Ripley's got these sensational Sherry vibes. Went up against the man Becky Lynch. This was a heck of a matchup between both ladies, but Ray Ripley ended up retaining the title. Looks like a brand new era has begun. Then the tag team titles will be on the line in a six-way ladder match. Judgment Day defending the unified titles against New Day, DIY, Austin Troop, New Catch Republic, and Eight Town Down Under. And But the belts are now separate. That means one side of Raw, one side of SmackDown. And we have new SmackDown tag team champions, Eight Town Down Under. And then the new tag team champions of Raw, the Awesome Truth. Congratulations to both of those teams. Marie Mysterio and Andrade in tag team action against Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. The match was going great until Escobar and Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio decided to um, do a little cheating. But there were two luchadors dressed in Rey Mysterio masks that looked like uh, the Philly colors of the Philadelphia Eagles. Attacked Dominic Mysterio, thrown Santos Escobar while the referee was distracted. And, you know... Now, uh, and then, Rey Mysterio and Andrade ended up picking up the matchup, and the two guys took off their masks. Their Philadelphia Eagles players, the, the newly retired Jason Kelsey and Ryan Johnson. That's right. Who knew? I thought there were a new tag team that was to sign on with the WWE, but no, it was Jason Kelsey and Ryan Johnson. All right, in the Battle of the Uso Brothers, um, Jay and Jimmy Uso, this was a heck of a matchup. And uh, uh, Jay Uso ended up picking up the victory. No Solo Sokoa, no Rikishi gets involved in this matchup. So that's a huge shocker. Six-woman tag team matchup, Naomi, Bianca Belair, and the newcomer, Jay Cargill, going up against Damage Control at Dakota Kai and the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Asuka and Kairi Sane, the Kabuki Warriors. And Naomi, Belair, and Cargill, who made the ten, pin for the team, ended up winning the matchup. All three ladies were hugging in the end. I thought it was a beautiful moment between those three ladies, but I feel bad for Asuka. Hasn't won a WrestleMania match 
and I hate to say it, it's like a reverse version of The Undertaker. Asuka's going to... Asuka's going to get going. But I'm sure she has her moments. That's for sure. And the Intercontinental Championship matchup was on the line. You know, uh, Sami Zayn was talking to his wife and son as he gets ready. And then Chad Gable says, hey, you got this. But you're going, you're doing this by yourself. So, and then as he's about to go out there, Kevin Owens was waiting for him in the, near the gorilla position. He goes, go for it. Go do it. And so, headed to the ring. And Gunter, right now, sit on uh, Gunter at this point before is the title defense was sitting at 667 days as the Intercontinental Champion. But then, um, um, but then, uh, Sami Zayn and Gunter fought, and ladies and gentlemen, the reign is over. Gunter is no longer, you know, has been defeated by Sami Zayn to become the new Inter. Continental Champion. What a match that was. Adam Cole and Nicholas addresses the Philly crowd and their attendance record over 72,500 folks in attendance for WrestleMania Saturday Night 1. And then the main event, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. What a matchup this was. This kept on going. This is a, this is a barn burner brawl. And uh, yes. Yes, we do have a victor. Roman Reigns and The Rock. So that means the tomorrow's na matchup, tomorrow night's matchup for 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 Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes for the Universal Title. Bloodline rules. Anything goes. Batting down the hatches, boys, and we're just getting started for round one. Alrighty then. So that's all the time we have on this show. Episode one thousand three hundred and twenty-seven is complete. I gotta get going because you know it's right now. Collision is on. I'm gonna plan on plan on watching it and covering it. So you guys have a um, um, a wonderful day. And until the next episode comes rolling around, I know it's a short episode, but there's a lot I need to do before I get to get to bed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lee Machinigans of 1977. A big beefy E, Dorf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.